Hey everyone, Zian over here from Nintendo Life, and today we're here to answer the age-old question. The the question that that people are always asking, the people that specifically they don't understand this game at all. Today we're going to be talking about why why in the heck is Animal Crossing fun? Why is this game amazing? Why do people put three, four, a thousand hours into this game? And today, I'm not alone. I'm joined by our wonderful new fellow, Felix. Hello, new fellow Felix here. Um, Alex, I think Felix has turned into a, a fairy and an elf, uh, a little, a little sprite. Are, are you there? Can you help us? Can you help him guide I, him? I am here. Yes, I, I'll, I'll do my best to corral the the <laughs> tiny creature that has taken over Felix's role. <laughs> Thank you. I should point out we're specifically talking about New Horizons in this, not just <laughs> Animal mm. Crossing. Mm, good point. But it's kind of you just say Animal Crossing these days, and you mean New Horizons. They're kind of synonymous, aren't they? Yeah, I mean. Most most of the games are pretty similar, so I th I feel like this everything that we're gonna say for the most part will kind of carry over into other Animal Crossing games. So I think Animal Crossing is 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 one of those games that I, I like. I don't know what, how, how you guys feel about this, but for me, like the joy kind of comes from just finding things to do and then doing them because the, the game doesn't really have like much of a goal i know that sounds so just, that sounds ridiculous you just described the whole game finding things to do and doing them. <laughs> well i mean uh, I, I, so new horizons has kind of like animal um, crossing is just a bored child simulator <laughs> for a bored child there's a lot to do in these games and i think that's, that's what, true that's what makes them so fun is you know like new horizons has uh, a sort of a, 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 a i guess somewhat of a story a focus you know for a uh, maybe like the first 30 hours or something I, I guess i don't even remember how long that took time flew by but but beyond that you know the game the world is kind of your oyster uh it's like a this sandbox world where you're just asked to have fun and and give people presents and have a collection of things uh let, let's let's let you start alex what about animal crossing new horizons sp in specific makes you happy when you're when you're playing the games like how do you derive fun from this game i just like almost in a way i like the fact that pretty much what you said there is no immediate direction. Yeah, you have tasks to do, um, certainly to begin with, you know, when you're building up the town hall and things like that, and you've got, you know, goals to achieve, but very quickly you start essentially creating your own goals, and it's like, oh, I want to have a, a garden up here, I want to create a foresty area, I want to make this beach look like a, a outdoor sauna which is the worst idea um, I think I've ever come up with as a as a well-respected entrepreneur. I mean, I think it's, some people can relate to like, oh, I would love to have an, an outdoor sauna in a, if I, you know. <laughs> wouldn't work. Why, why wouldn't not? wouldn't work. Just, you just have so much heat just pumping just straight <laughs> at you. <laughs> it's, to be fair, people, you know, sort of through burning fossil fuels, we are cre essentially creating an outdoor sauna. Oh, man. I'm, oh, jeez. I don't like this. The future. <laughs> we need to go back. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Animal Crossing, that was what we were here for, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, it, it is kind of setting your own goal. It's the same um, in as in many other sort of open sandbox style games. The classic example, of course, is Minecraft. You know, there is kind of a goal in Minecraft, but most of the joy just comes from setting your own goals and just going out and doing your own thing. And Animal Crossing is nowhere near as broad in its scope for what you can do because it's a lot more tailored but as a result it's quite a different experience you know getting certain villagers interacting with them becoming best friends getting their photo or maybe you just want to upgrade your house to be enormous decorate the inside or maybe you want to complete the museum you know there are all these goals out there and they're simultaneously completely and utterly arbitrary essentially i mean you could say the same about any game but even within the space of games all the goals in animal crossing are arbitrary and you can create similarly arbitrary ones and whilst the game may not recognize it you still get a great set sense of satisfaction from it and all the while you're doing it it's just so relaxing it's so chilled out with the exception 
of um, maybe uh, having to deal with Gulliver, but that's that's a small <laughs> thing. Yeah, I mean, there are like little te- little things that can feel tedious at times, but I think for some... Oh, the entire game is tedium. E- exactly, yeah. D- depending on your perspective, the whole game could just be a complete nuisance. Uh, but I think, like for me as a person, I... I've I've found I mean throughout my life I've I've discovered this uh, and I, I occasionally I'll recognize it again and be like huh that's weird that that was fun but I love organizing things and I love cleaning things and like Animal Crossing for me kind of uh, like like you said that there's not really much of a goal but uh, but you you can collect these different things and you can you can find a lost package on the ground and go give it to your neighbor in town or you can you can reorganize your home with all of these little decorations and and things that you find throughout the game and and none of these really serve a purpose but it's just so satisfying to to play around in this world and have your like second home and and some people have their dream homes in these games and you have multiple floors and you can you can turn one into an arcade or you can turn one into a an igloo you do whatever you want and uh and it's 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 i'm just i was trying to, to explain just how vastly different the rooms yeah. in your house could be so i don't know where igloo came from but uh but yeah it's just so simplistically fun uh, but but, but you can do it, can't you? You can make a room in igloo, at least from an aesthetic point of view, from a functional point of view. I guess you're right. Um, I think you really would be stretching Animal Crossing uh, to try and reach that. But a room that is igloo themed, go for it. True. And maybe I was blending the, the thought that in certain Animal Crossing games, the villagers will make igloos and then you can go hang out with them and just play like simple little games with them and do they yeah i I think it's obviously during the winter months and it might have been oh gosh i don't remember generally easier to make igloos when there's snow around (laughs) that's true yeah otherwise they're gonna melt really quick probably not worth the not worth the effort Uh, but felix what what uh, how do you derive uh joy from from animal crossing new horizons i just love that you know you go about your day and Maybe you have a lot of tasks and because there's so much to do, you don't get everything done. So you come back the next day. And I love that that um, when you build something, you know, you have to wait till the next day. And like that, you do stuff to, you know, uh, make the time pass by. It could be you go out fishing, you go to the seashore to get all your stuff. And it's kind of like the real world. You're looking forward to stuff. And in the meantime, you just have to keep yourself busy. And, and you're, you're touching on a cool point there, because and I, that's something I don't think we've mentioned yet, but that Animal Crossing New Horizons functions on a real world clock. So like, you know, if it's 5 p.m. your time, you know, in real life, it will be that same time in the game, unless if you're a filthy time traveler. Yeah, you manipulate that clock. But but you're right. Like, it's it's so incredible to have this world that you can like, you know, if you I, I don't know, let, let's say hypothetically you wake up in the middle of the night, it's 2 a.m. and you can't fall back asleep and you you turn on animal crossing it's 2 a.m in the game you know things things change within the world as well which is so it was so unique of a thing for its time but even still nowadays it's still like there really aren't like a lot of games that do things like that yeah and also when it's winter in the game it's winter you know in real life and there is seasonal events that only happen once a year also in game and Another thing I really like about the game is all the furniture available. I love decorating my island, I love getting new recipes and going out finding all the materials and then you can also decorate your house. I I don't know, there's always just so much to do. And when it eventually got stale, uh, animal, the Animal Crossing team just dropped a big new update adding vegetables just so you can like grow a, a garden with all your stuff to make food. There was a DLC, which I think we should touch on a bit later. And there's just, yeah, a boatload of things to do. You can also go into the ocean and find sea creatures. And I actually think one of the things I enjoy the utmost is finding stuff for your museum, like finding new creatures. And that's also a thing that makes me come back to the game around the year, because there's different creatures around your island at different seasons of the year. So at summer, you might find sharks in the ocean, but at winter, they are not sharks. There are a bunch of other fish in the sea, and it's just such a brilliant... It's so simple, you know, oftentimes it's the simple things that just works the best. And I think it works well as an escapism thing as well, because yeah. you can do all these things, you can make all these achievements, but also because it essentially mirrors the real world, 
because but it's fun because of the real world <laughs> yeah but but it's fun um so you know you can use it as a form of escapism but without it being its own kind of contained bubble and sometimes you want that maybe you do want to you know escape into the world of elden ring um and you know go on a grand adventure where you die repeatedly um you know and you can do that and there are loads of games that do that and gaming's one of the best ways to do that However, I think with Animal Crossing, and it's by no means unique in this sense, it allows you to sort of, it's as though the world continues to run when you're not around. It is like its own little world. I mean, it, it doesn't run when you're not around, but it gives the illusion, doesn't it? It tricks your brain, you know, you, yeah. you stop playing in summer, you pick it up again in autumn and, oh no, all the leaves are all brown and they're falling. Oh. Yeah. And all the villagers are like, oh, where have you been the last two months? We've missed you. Have you been on a big adventure? And, and stuff like that. It's just... Usually they get angry with me because, um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I, d I don't know, maybe maybe my villagers don't like me enough. I also think that Animal Crossing came out at a perfect time where the world oh, was at. Oh, God, it did, didn't it? It really did. You know, there was restrictions. You couldn't go to school. And suddenly there's a game where you can just put loads of hours into without, like, getting burned out, at least in the start. And I, the first month of the game coming out, me and uh, my fiance just played it every day. It was like the first thing we did when we woke up, we visited each other's island and just hearing the main theme just runs me back and gives me that nostalgia of when it first came out. Even though it's not very old, the game, it just, it was just a magical time. That was very similar for me as well. I mean, I was playing it, I reviewed it, so I was playing it like a month before it came out. Not oh, not yeah. trying to flex or anything, just, you know, explaining the situation. And at the time, my kitchen was being redone because I, you know, bought a house and the kitchen needed doing because it was this dank, gloomy sort of galley that hadn't been updated since the 70s. And, you know, getting it all opened up and everything. And anyone who's ever done renovation on their home will know that, you know, it's sort of, you look at it, you start analysing it, you see all the potential problems, then it gets down to it, and there's about 50 times more problems than you ever <laughs> anticipated. I f and the fact that I was working in the same, because I work from home, so I never escaped that environment for like two months, I think it took. And Animal Crossing came in and kind of like swept me off my feet and all of a sudden I had something that I wanted to do. I was like, I could get out of here I, in a digital sense, at least get out of my head. And that was absolutely wonderful. It, um, I wouldn't say it saved me, but it certainly made things a whole lot easier. Also, like, what I really like is customizing. There's so much customizability in the island, because mm. at the start of the game, you know, you choose your island, so there's like certain rivers, they are where they are. But later on, you get tools so you can like remodel your entire island to your liking. So if you want to have a hill there, you put it there. If you want a river, go just by your house, you can do that. And you can move everything around for a price. But it's just so nice that you can make the island of your dreams, essentially. It's like a social box of Lego, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's kind of the cool thing, too, with, with Animal Crossing New Horizons, is was in, in past Animal Crossing games, you would, you would collect all of this furniture, and then you could decorate your home with it. But beyond like giving it to your villager friends and hoping that they put it in their house or, or trading it with other friends online or you know other, other friends in your household, uh, you, they had to stay in your home. But then in New Horizons, you can finally put furniture outside. So now you re we really do have this, like for a lack of a better term, term sandbox to kind of decorate and, and customize and, and build whatever we want. And, and, uh, and I think some people you know take that like my my island has some some small little special features that i've you know built in and uh but 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 some people like really just spend hundreds upon hundreds of hours just completely customizing their town and, or their island and, and making it it's, some islands don't even look like they are from animal crossing in the end because they've customized them so mm. much and uh, it's so impressive to see that you know that you can do that there is so for people who don't know there is a, a thing in animal crossing so you can like draw out these small like i don't know square frames of like literally anything you want it's like pixel art and then you can put those on the ground and you can make signs of them oh, and yeah. what people do is that they make these 
incredible detailed like uh, paths or stuff and then suddenly it just doesn't look like Animal Crossing because you've made your own custom, I don't know, brick path that just looks like something out from a fairy tale or something mm -hmm. and people are so like it's almost mind-blowing what people can do with just a few pixels it just allows like the past games allowed you to customize them a lot as well like those were kind of the the focus was you know creating cool t-shirts for yourself or or creating you know like you know you're customizing your town flag and uh and i think that is you know also just really where so much of the joy comes from is just you have so much freedom to kind of make your island whatever you want um but they really just ratcheted that like up to the next level in this game so many of these little things can you can spend so much time mm -hmm. doing it and you can also like download them from the internet from mm. other people true i found that really cool that you don't actually have to be very creative you can just go get a code <laughs> of someone's really <laughs> amazing work and then just put it in your island and be like wow I'm so glad someone else did this because <laughs> I would have never been able to do this. That's great though, isn't it? It makes it much more if you want it to be. I mean, it doesn't have to be. You can just, you know, shut yourself off to everything entirely yourself and custom and ignore the rest of the world. Or you can use those services in order to either take shortcuts or if you're just not really maybe you don't quite know how to create things in the pixel custom design editor. But you, yeah, you can download other people's stuff and you can download those and you can go, hey, hey, look at my fancy path. And honestly, sometimes it's, I, I honestly feel that sometimes when it comes to laying paths, doing anything in the game like that, any kind of customization, it's the, it's the process that is the most rewarding part. Not necessarily the end result. Not saying that the end result is bad or dissatisfying. It's just, it's the process of doing it because... It's not easy. It's not like you've got like, you just go blop, 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 blop and drop down paths really quickly and easily. You've got to go with your character and put them down one at a time. And it can be laborious, but it makes it more worthwhile. Yeah, it's the journey, isn't it? The friends that we made along the way. Absolutely. Exactly, <laughs> Sion. Another thing that, that like keeps one going is Nook Miles, which is a new thing in this game. Maybe uh, Sion, you can tell us about what that is. Yeah, that that that's a good point. I completely I completely forgot about Nook Miles, but they are so huge. Uh, basically, you have this kind of little set list of things that you can do uh, throughout the day, and uh, and as you complete these little tasks, which might be like. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to like shoot down a balloon out of the sky because you know a balloons float by every like 15 minutes or something and they carry a reward like um, resources for you to craft something new or money or or an item yeah maybe. you don't just do it out of violence exactly yeah yeah which is which is another balloon. violence is another topic that we need to come back to uh just just throwing okay. that out there get quick. an axe in the game <laughs> but but yeah so uh, you can you can dig up fossils throughout the game you can give gifts to other people and these nook mile uh, uh, objectives basically uh, if you complete the uh, certain ones uh, as as you complete them new ones will filter in but then you get rewarded with points and you can spend those points to get yourself uh, tickets that you can um, you can use to to travel to a random island to find cool rare bugs and and fun uh, like you know items or you can use it to unlock special goods and it's just another cool way that kind of incentivizes you to stick like continue playing the game and, and be rewarded for the things you're doing and and before we get onto the, like the, the the no killing thing too i just wanted to mention that <laughs> there's it's it's insane how much sim how many similarities there are between animal crossing and your standard free mobile game because animal crossing and and mobile game like the one quality that both of them have is the fact that they're they're trying to like spread out tasks for you to do over like an extended period of time and they're, they're always trying to continue pulling you back into the game by um by slowing you down or by you know um only allowing you to do so many things on a certain day or something like that like like fossils for example in animal crossing you can typically run around and i think you can dig up like four to six i'm i don't know the exact number so i won't bet on it but um but somewhere around there you know I so think it's actually i think it's actually just four on the nose is but it okay 
Now that now that I've said that, I'm not so sure either. I think it's six. So, uh, please oh, tell no. us down. Please tell us in the comments below. Well, we, we covered uh, our bases then, know. at least. Yeah. So yeah. the comments are gonna say it's nine. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so the, the the game. So for me, that was a big reason to check in every day. Was like Felix was saying, the museum's a lot of fun to to complete because uh, you'll find dinosaur fossils and every fish that you that you catch. You want to make sure you have one in in the uh, in the museum. And so every day, I would check in at least to go and, and dig up all the fossils and see if there was anything new there. Uh, but the cool thing is that Animal Crossing, b beyond its one DLC pack that it has, which is a one and done purchase, there aren't like microtransactions or anything really like tugging at your wallet beyond that first initial like $60 purchase of the game. Uh, and I think it's, it's, it's so amazing to know that like we want to keep coming back to this game, even though just because it's just because it's just so organically fun, you know, like the game isn't it's not forcing like I think so many people might look at this game and, and think that it's boring or like why wouldn't why wouldn't I um, just make food in real life or why wouldn't I uh, why wouldn't I go hang out my, with my friends in person but there's just I think it's because the game is always rewarding you for doing something and that's the Nook Miles like if you don't know what to do look at your Nook Mile like task oh I need to get three fishes small well cool you get Nook Miles and then you can pay off your first depth of your your house or your tent is it at the start and then later you use those nook miles to you get new recipes because there's also crafting a new thing not in previous animal crossing games and yeah you just get rewarded constantly for playing and that's i think why it's really fun which is the opposite of real life yeah <laughs> hey Very you've got true. a mundane task to do do you want you've got to clean the house okay i'll clean the house What's your reward? You've got a clean house. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, don't get me wrong, a clean house is lovely, but it's not the same as getting a, you know, a tanuki to say, well done. I think in real life, it's like the opposite of Animal Crossing. The journey, like cleaning the house is just not fun, but then when you are there, it's just really nice. If that makes sense. Yeah, I th I, I'd agree with that. I mean, you know, it's going to come down to personal preference. And there may well be people listening to us talking going, no, you know what? Animal Crossing sounds like a complete waste of time, and that is that is entirely possible. You know, it's not going to be for everyone, but I think, you know, given that it... it is it the most successful game on Switch yet? Because it was getting damn close at one point. It is number two on the spot after yeah. Mario Kart 8, Darn. so I mean, still, I think it's the biggest game in Japan also. But there's also the DLC, isn't there? Which is, um... It's called the the Happy Home Paradise DLC, mm, mm -hmm. and essentially it's, um, I mean, it's kind of essentially based on another game that was released on the 3DS, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, but it's kind of now it's more sort of a side thing in this game, but it is still pretty damn su substantial. Basically, you get requests, for you, you're sort of like you're employed or something. Um, it's a bit of a loose employment <laughs> system, I didn't it's see really a single weird. contract. It's really weird, yeah. Um, but the, you essentially have, um, clients and they'll say, I want to live in a house made of bees. And you have to then make a house filled with bees. And <laughs> usually, you know, sort of, they'll say, oh, I absolutely must have the bee lamp, the bee sofa and the bee bed. But everything else is up to you. You could fill it full of wasps and the game will still be like, yep, you, you filled it full of bees. Well done. <laughs> or you yep. could even go with an entirely non-insect orientated uh, scheme for the rest of the house. Um, it's fun to follow the um, the directives that you're given, but you really don't have to. And the game is still just like, hey, wow, they love it. They uh, they want you to do their friends or something. You unlock more, you do more, and you unlock more stuff. And you can get furniture and things like that. And I'm still annoyed. I don't know whether you unlock it later, but I can't wear my beard because the beard is a is an accessory. Um, oh, no. and they're like, aha, no, you can't wear that accessory. And it's like, that's, that's part of my face. They made you shave <laughs> your beard for your job. They made me shave my beard for my job. I could get a different beard, but it wasn't my beard. I really like the DLC because while you can customize your home, the cool thing about in the DLC is that you get all the furniture. Like you get so much furniture, so much cool furniture that you can just play around with. And you also get to, so 
when you're in your house, there's this mode where you can like move everything around really easy and tightly. And you can also do that with the gardens, you know, outside the house, which you can't do on your main island, as Alex previously said. And it's just well, really fun to like... Well, you sort of can, but it's not... It's more just you can decorate the area surrounding their house because it's part of the island. Yeah, what I meant was like uh, on the island, you have to like go and paint the path and in the DLC. Oh, I see. Sorry, yeah, you sorry. Can, you I can misunderstood just, like, you. I'll <laughs> that's keep all my right. lips shut. Then you can just like take the path and go blop, 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 and you can take a tree. And no, I only wanted to have been grown for like, there's like different stages of the tree and you can oh, like wow. change the seasons and you can change the weather. and Just you, like you, real life. Yeah, if you're God. I mean, you're basically God. <laughs> that's a good way you to put are, it. You are, yeah. That's it. Ah, we've said it. We've we've got it here. We've we've gone and done it. Animal Crossing is a God simulator. <laughs> yep. That's how it is. But I'll And Tom Nook is the god. I just poured tons of hours into the DLC and, you know, I could spend, I don't know, two hours just decorating the interior of one house because oh, this has to be exactly how I can picture it on my head. And it's just really fun. And you unlock new stuff the, the more you go. There's like this little story where the, the further you get, you also have this town at the main island where you like get to decorate a school. And I just think it adds so much more. Like, well, I don't have anything more to do on my island. Hey, let's go to work. And mm. there you have a bunch <laughs> of new stuff. And oh, I don't want to go to work anymore. Well, I'm going back to my island because now I have a lot of stuff to do. So it's like a really really good balanced game now if you have the DLC. So the last thing that I also wanted to mention, because I, I don't know if a lot of people really take this into account or not, but Animal Crossing also doesn't really have like a villain. Like it, there's no there's no killing. You know, this is one of the, I don't want to say one of the few multiplayer games that doesn't involve you. It's one of the few children's games that doesn't have killing. <laughs> well, it's even, you know, Fortnite is like one of, is, is the biggest video game uh, on the, the planet right now. And I guess, sure, Mario yeah, Kart Minecraft doesn't. Minecraft is still bigger, I think. You think yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I, but Minecraft still has killing. That's true. And Mario Kart has, you can throw bananas at people, but you don't, you don't really. It has violence. Yeah, true, true. Animal Crossing is just a really peaceful game if that's why you're trying to get at. Yeah, it's really chill. Yeah, the thing I was trying to get at was that there's no there's nothing trying to like take you down. At at the end of it all, I I was starting to think like are you the villain at the end of the day? Like <laughs> is is that is that what it is? It's like are you your own worst enemy in this game because you can do as much as you want and do as little as you want and and you're the you're dictating what happens to the world is what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, you come into this world and you don't have to worry about like taking down this big boss or or grinding to to become strong enough to fight this enemy or or do this big quest because there's none of that none of that matters. You know, it's just it's all it's all up to you to have as much fun as you want and and uh and nothing really gets in your way except, you know, like I think people want a villain sometimes, though. Like that's, I think, why we, why the internet has turned Tom Nook into the, <laughs> the sleaze ball that he is. Uh, but then it's weird because in Animal Crossing: New Horizons, Nintendo like put a spotlight on him and tried to make him like this really nice, like lovable guy. Uh, but the internet yeah. still just Despite wants him to exploiting us for bells. Still, you're right, and his his poor nephews. Yeah, do they even get paid? They, they haven't grown in the entire time. I have a feeling they're malnourished. I hope not. Oh, man, we forgot to talk about one thing. Oh, man. Um, Darn it. Well, you know what? You know what, though? I think we, we just about ran out of time. And so forever, anybody who made it to the end of the video is going to be wondering <laughs> what that was. And maybe someday we'll tell you. But uh, for now, uh, what we'd like you to do is in the comments down below, Guess whatever that last thing was that Felix was was going to say. What what about Animal Crossing New Horizons or even just the Animal Crossing series in general uh, brings you joy to, to play it? What what about the game has you coming back day after day? Because I think the whole point of this video was really to just to just get down to the the facts the, the and the feelings of of why why we why we like playing this game so much. Yeah, I think this video is really good for let's say you're you have seen Animal Crossing and you don't really get why it is fun, then maybe this video could help you understand a bit more. Oh, this is why it's fun. I'll give it a go or this is not something for me. Just like to clarify for people because you know, Animal Crossing does seem weird on the outside, but when you get into the thick of it, 
it's just a really pleasant experience in my humble opinion it is still weird but it's it's fun it's a fun weird <laughs> like us we're fun but we're weird very fun we are weird but i wouldn't have it any other way no <laughs> being normal is boring <laughs> speaking of normal if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this then why don't you find a way to somehow click that subscribe button but do it do it like you know not like not the norm you know like boot it up on your switch or um ask if you can come over to a, go to over to a friend's house and and when they when they ask what you're there for just say i i i came over to i had to subscribe to nintendo life but i had to do it you know like uh, not at my house <laughs> and then refuse to leave and tell them that they can't rearrange any furniture exactly because then and then just tell them it's your entire life is an animal crossing simulation and then i'll ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we put up new videos and then tomorrow there's going to be a new video just like in animal crossing when you build a home it's there the next day <gasps> all ready for you thank you all so much for watching thank you to alex and felix for joining me for this discussion stay safe out there and we will see you all next time that was goodbye in Animal Crossing language. Thanks for the video idea, Felix's dad. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs>